Aha. Don't mind the mess. It's all going in the dump later. Hi, woman. Hello there, children. Are you putting that in the oven or something? You putting it in my freezer? Yes. There's a lot of grease on it. It does. Are you mad? She's pissed. Oh no. Oh no. No, it does not have grease on it. And I'm not really pissed because Martin does this stuff all the time and I'm in the car, so I understand. No, she's not mad. She okay. just yells at me. I don't yell at you, I beat you. No. Reason why that's in the freezer is so it can slide together easily. Once we get it out, we're gonna heat the manifold up with the torch get it nice and hot then we're going to pull that guy out he's going to slide right in place without any kind of hammering or nothing because you don't want to hit cast iron with a hammer it'll just break it's kind of like when you're building engines back in the day and you put the wrist spin in the freezer and you put the pistons in the oven and heated them up and it just goes together smoothly so we're going to clean off our new used manifold nice and clean so our seal sits in there so now we're going to take our map gas torch and get this in nice and hot and this is an exhaust manifold that sees 1200 degrees so plus sometimes it'll be fun We got a frozen piece and you gotta kind of gotta work quickly with it we're gonna give this thing a little bit more heat Just a little bit more heat nice and hot our end piece is still pretty frozen so we're good Let it cool down and let it uh, do its thing here. So this is our new used manifold. This used to be the end piece. Now we have that. That leaks. This does not leak. Well, hopefully it does not leak. We'll find out. But anyway, it looks a whole lot better now. All right. We're going to get our manifold on. Let's not forget to pull all these rags out. Because then the engine won't run right. So we got some new ARP hardware. And our gaskets go like so. So you want to reuse the sleeves, obviously. But these are new ARP.
So now we're just kind of slowly snugging these down, kind of in a crisscross fashion. Let this manifold sit flush. Don't worry, Kirk, I'm gonna clean all that yellow crap off. Now we're tight. All our bolts are torqued. Torqued to spec. I actually went a little bit more than 50. I went about 70. 70 foot pounds because the accuracy of this torque wrench probably isn't the best. And these are ARP, so they could probably hold a la, 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 la. take a little bit more torque. And, and I'm sure that, you know, being that it's cold once in this heat cycles and stuff like that. So, all right, we're going to run to the hardware store and get our little plugs we need. I got to take that little fitting out. This guy here, and then I gotta take this guy out so I can find a 90. And uh, yeah, and then we can go and put our turbo back on and stuff like that. Smash your fingers against the frame rails. Oh, come on. There you go. All right. Big old heavy bastard. Man. Boy, he's on. This big old heavy bastard. Connect our, connect our oil line. Easiest one to get to. So, this is a this is a turbo speed sensor. This is a VDT connection. And it goes back there. And right here we have our inlet. I think that's our intake temperature. So. Hey guys, good evening. So it was a busy day running around with the kids today. Our youngest has soccer, then he has karate. So I, being home, wanted to see that. Because, you know, what's more important? That sure as hell ain't trucks. So anyway, we got everything kind of buttoned up. We still got to tighten the four bolts on the turbocharger, but we got all our lines hooked up. You guys, if you ever remove this VGT, it's not that intimidating. There's not that much to it. I uh, usually like back here, there's two lines. So you have two water lines and I just unhook them right here, as you can see. And then these hoses will come with the turbo. And you have one here for the actuator and then another hard line over here and this just swings out of the way these are banjo bolts so there's seals on both sides the seals are technically reusable i've always reused them um, never had a leak watch me jinx myself right now people will tell you don't reuse them <laughs> well people are being dealers i've always reused these crush washers these crush gaskets these rubber crush gaskets and i never ever had a leak so here here these two here these two being this braided line and then this one just unbolt them here and that's all your hookup for back here on the turbo and then these 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 are all your water lines now your oil your feet is right there so just undo that that's like a 19 millimeter and then two 10 mils from the bottom of the turbo and it comes right off other than your four on the manifold but they're really easy to get to being that this is a dual cam isx 871 your 2250, 2350, 2450X15s, they're basically the same. So that being said, don't be intimidated by this VGT. So yeah, we got the best part back on the engine, which is this bad boy here. And I'm not talking about the VGT itself. I'm talking about the turbocharger because without turbo, there's no life. 
I don't care. Turbochargers are the best. They make things go around. They make fun noises and they make a lot of power. Turbos are the best. Today was a nice day because like I said, it wasn't too hot. But I didn't really get that much in. So I worked kind of a while to get this sealed up, this guy here. Because that manifold didn't really want to seal up. The little seals that they gave me, Cummins gave me, um, they weren't working. Like, they were too loose. So, what I did, and, and then this guy would just kind of, as you can see, there's a little, uh, you probably can't see it. There's a little slip here, and that was basically just kind of falling right in. So it was uh, it was very a very loose fit, and I knew that was gonna leak. So we doubled up the seals, and that stopped. So I don't think it's gonna leak. I think it's in there pretty good, especially after a few heat cycles. It's it's gonna stay. It's not gonna it's gonna heat up, expand, then it's gonna seal itself up. So, but we just don't want any of that suit on this fancy red paint. Well, I like how this engine's coming together because that was all black before, down there, from that exhaust leak that was coming out from here. So I'm happy with that. I think we're gonna get back at it tomorrow. Kids are going back to school tomorrow. It's their first day of school, believe it or not. July 27th, first day of school. It's also my youngest son's birthday tomorrow, which is awesome. He's turning six. I'd like to go to work by Friday, if possible. Um, if not, I'm not gonna cry over it. I'll go to work on Monday, but I'd like to go to work on Friday. Start making some money again, because sitting around, you're not gonna make nothing. Um, yeah, the truck and trailer are paid for, but still gotta live, you know? So, I don't have a lake house to go to and cry over freight. Sorry, I just have to say it. I just have to say it. I know, I'm a horrible person. I'm a horrible person. I, I'm terrible. I know, I'm a terrible person. I think we're going to go out to the Midwest again. I was actually a offered a load of onions on Thursday, but I don't know if I'll have this truck done in time. I would take them. I would take those onions. They're going to Chicago. I would run that. Um, but it's coming out of like here out, so it's Fresno area. If I can get the truck done in time and the load's still available, maybe I'll snag it. It doesn't pay too bad. It's like $5,600, 2,000 miles roughly. So I would take it and then I would stay out there and kind of run around. Um, we'll see. We'll see. All right, enough rambling. Didn't really get much done today. I was hoping they'd have a lot more progress done today, but hey, that's just some how they go. So, ugh, how did they go sometimes? I've learned a valuable lesson. Don't get ahead of yourself. You gotta zip tie all this crap out of the way, but see this? See how that moves? Now, it's got seals in there, so it might not leak, but don't get ahead of yourselves guys look in the box when you buy something look in the box because <laughs> there's fittings in there in a line so we're going to change that out so she's starting to look like an engine again we got our coolant plugs in no i'm not going to paint it we got our line on I like that because it's routed away from the heat of the manifold and it's a nice braided line. Uh, manifold's on. No more ugly you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I just got to put some coolant in it. Intercooler tube, air filter tube. Pull the rags out, of course, because they'll eat the turbo up. Zip tie those up and we're good to go. Quicker. All right. 
This little, little $650 compressor works pretty dang good. I can tell you that. Um, it pumps a lot faster than the old one. So the old one must have been pretty worn out because I can leave this thing just low idling and I'll air the tanks up fairly quickly. No noise. Partially probably because we timed it. I don't know. I, I don't know if it would have made a difference. I guess next time we can experiment with that. It's getting dark already, but that's all looks good. We still gotta zip tie these guys up and tighten some clamps. We gotta put a little bit more coolant in it. And as you can see, I'm going drinking Mike's harder lemonade when you're trying to pour a heavy five gallon bucket of coolant up there so this all settle top it off in the morning and we'll take it for a test spin let it all warm up all in all i'm happy with it cleaned up the engine bay a little bit with garbage that's useless you know what i mean and we replaced the air compressor um I got some air filters coming. I got to replace those. They're not too bad yet, but they would probably do. And got to look under that. Check out those cams and see how they're doing. Maybe check the uh, valves. Uh, last time I did it was 100,000 miles ago or so. Maybe a little bit more. So it's probably due. Anyway, that's it for that. I think hopefully I'll catch you guys next time when I'm, we're on the road trucking. How about that? Let's do some trucking. Yeah, we could do some trucking with this with this beast. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up.